Hello friends, today we will talk about how to remove object from video, exactly how to use OpenGL UV renderer. My friends, thanks for supporting my channel in patreon.com. There will be a competition today. The prize is the ebook by Mike Cameron Becoming a Better Man. Mike Cameron is a businessman, writer and a personal trainer. The book is about personal development. To win this uh, ebook, you should subscribe Mike Cameron's channel, leave a comment under any film. I'd love a copy of your book and follow his Facebook. Mike will choose a uh, free people. Okay, my friends, so uh, let's get started. In this case, my friends, we remove this smartphone and the first step will be use camera tracker. Next step will be create surfaces and first step will be use not paint because of course we paint this uh, smartphone. So, okay, I import to my flowchart camera tracker and I set parameters in this tab. So I of course press preview auto location. Maybe I add a more detail. I use Luma channel to track and I press bidirectional tracking. Okay. So auto track. Go to solve and of course press solve. My result is 0 0.4 is good result, but if you have many red points, uh, exactly you see in this place I have red points, um, you may remove this bad track and again solve. How to do it? In this place, track filtering, of course, you change parameters, something like this, press delete, fusion deleted these bad tracks and again press solve. Thanks to this we achieve a little uh, better result you see 0 0.3. Okay my friends now I use transform 3D because I won't show you how to looks how looks my point clouds and this green point clouds this is of course reconstruction my scene and very important things you see this angle camera i think um, operator i think the operator was recording from a different angle than this i think that angle was like this and of course you may change this angle how to do it go to camera tracker export and now you need to select one point. For example, this will be okay. And now my friends, in this tab, 3D scene transform, change aligned to unaligned and important, I select one point, okay? And now unaligned press set from selection. Now I select four points because because I want to create surfaces, something, something like surfaces, okay? And I select four points and press in orientation set from selection. Now I change again unaligned to aligned and look, my camera has new angle. I think this angle is more, uh, is better, okay? So go to my friends and maybe in option you may change track colors to take from image. Good option in this place. Export and I press export. This transform I delayed. Of course I have new nodes. And now my friends. How to remove this smartphone. This is my renderer 3D node. You see in this place is 
ground plane. And now we need to create, my friends, maybe I check off original uh, grid. Now we need to create new object because we need to cover this smartphone. How to do it? In this place, in this window, we choose four points. For example, four points, okay? For example, my friends, I select mm, this, 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 this and sorry, this and this. And now press right click mouse and I select image plane. Of course, you may select create shape, align that shape. I select create image plane. Okay, look, fusion, create new surfaces. And maybe I a little change, tra I transform this uh, shape. This shape you may directly connect with this merge. So I delay this merge and I connect directly directly with this merge, okay? With this merge. I go to transform and I change scale this object. Maybe I a little adjust, I think it's okay. I think it's okay. Maybe I a little change angle, not this, something like this. Don't change Y position, okay? Okay, my smartphone is covered and now we create magic. Now go to Renderer 3D and change Renderer tape to OpenGL UV Renderer, okay? Please go to camera and unlock this camera. Please in the projection, press enable camera projection and projection mode must be texture, okay? Texture. Now import to flowchart new node, exactly catcher. Catcher is in tools, 3D, texture, catcher and connect this catcher with this image plane. How works my friends catcher? This catcher cooperate with this camera. Okay? Exactly. Because you press enable camera projection in this tab projection and you set projection mode, mode texture, this catcher cooperate with this camera and transfers information from this camera to this image plane. Okay? If I disconnect this object, we have white shape. If I connect, catcher transfers information from camera to this image plane. And thanks to this, I may use this frame and draw in this frame, okay? So, because this is animation, this is video file, I need to freeze this frame, okay? You see? So, I find a best frame to draw. I think this frame is, you see, in this place we have this uh, hole. Maybe this 100 is okay. In this place, I add new node. Maybe time stretcher, maybe time stretcher. Because I want to uh, freeze this frame, okay? So, I change my friend's uh, source time and because in this place I have zero, this frame is freeze, okay? This is understandable, I think. Now, in this place, in this place, I add not paint paint. I choose 
this tool stroke clone choose size and softness and of course we paint this element Okay, now very important thing, my friends, I need, of course, this is my new texture and I need connect this new texture with, of course, this element. How to do it? I copy this image plane and pass to instances, okay? Copy and pass to instances. So this is my instances, okay? So I connect this texture to my new instances, copy original camera, I add new merge 3D to my scene and new renderer 3D. Thanks to this, I achieve this element. Okay, so in OpenGL we change to Open GL UV renderer, we freeze frame, we add not paint, this is new texture, this texture we add to instances this object because of course this object has information from track, track, camera tracker and add new merge 3D with this camera this renderer of course uses this, uh, this is the same camera, so if I connect this element with my original footage, of course I mean it will be my foreground, I achieve good result, of course I use uh, maybe polygon tool, uh, control T, okay, and thanks to this my friends, we have this situation. Of course, you see we need to um, use mask in this place, but I think it looks okay. This corner, these edges, you uh, we add we add poly polygon mask. In this place, a little C. So I add polygon tool and I draw mask. Something like this. Of course, polyline, uh, we add keyframe in this polyline. Okay, I uh, add polygon tool. This is my mask. I connect this mask with my renderer 3D and I also add um, this blur with uh, this value so thanks to this I think it looks okay maybe in this place a little we change I think it's okay maybe we compare this object this is my new footage this is my original video okay my friends i think it looks okay my friends thank you very much for watching i will be glad if you leave a comment subscribe my channel maybe support my channel development thank you very much and i hope see you in the next tutorial